part is going to be to be continued in this class also. We will see another some five, six, or seven, eight problems. Okay. So then we will close this chapter of projection of planes. Okay. So now let us see very important problem. Or let's see very important problem. Or let's just write the problem. Draw the projections of draw the projections of a circle having fifty mm diameter. Circle. Fifty mm diameter. Okay, draw the projections of circle. Fifty mm diameter resting in HP on point K. Resting in HP on point Y. Resting in HP on point Y. On the circumference. Okay, on point Y on the circumference okay it's plane inclined at it's a plane it's plane surface plane means plane surface inclined at forty five degrees to the hp forty five degrees to hp Inclined at forty-five degrees to HP, and and first condition. All of you see the first condition. The top view of diameter AB. Top view of diameter AB. Makes thirty degrees with EP. Makes thirty degrees with EP. Second bit. The diameter EP is making diameter EP makes thirty degrees with EP. Okay, so draw the projections. Draw the projections of the circle. Draw the projections of the circle. With the point E in HP, draw the projections of the circle. With the point E is on HP and inclined 45 degrees to VP and inclined 45 degrees to the HP. Sorry, and inclined 45 degrees to HP. VP. Okay, students. So this was the given problem. So let us see. So this was the kind of uh, problem which is going to be a diagonal problem or diameter problem. We call it as if the circle problem is going to be given, we can consider it as diameter. If a hexagon is going to be given, such that the corner is going to be resting, then we consider it as the diagonal problems. Okay. So whenever these kind of problems are given, that is either diameter resting problem or diagonal uh, is going to be the problem, then we are supposed to find the apparent angle. Then we are supposed to find the apparent angle. So let us see how it is to be. So first of all, gives a circle of diameter fifty. Gives a circle of diameter fifty. So resting in HP at one of the point on the circumference, let us consider Y. Resting in HP. Okay, so resting in HP, so it is resting with HP like this. Okay, resting with HP. Resting with HP. 
in this manner with one of the point on the line that means so on the circumference of a circle let us consider the starting point is going to be touching the hp is going to be the point e here it is point e and the surface is making an angle of 45 degrees to the hp so that means it is 45 degrees to hp like this first of all initially it is resting on hp with one of the point on the circumference of the circle let us consider the point a which is touching point which is touching the point which point is touching point a is going to touch the horizontal plane and it is making an angle of 45 degrees to the hp like this so when your plane surface is inclined to one reference plane means it is perpendicular to other okay so in this position we have to draw the simple position and first stage okay so simple position let us assume your plane is consisting on hp why because one of the point is going to be on hp so whenever you put your plane surface on hp then only this point is also going to be on hp okay so first condition is the top view of the diameter is going to be so in first stage we are going to put the simple position second stage we consider the surface inclination third stage we consider the edge inclination or diameter inclination or diagonal inclination so here it is a diameter problem so third stage we consider the diameter inclination so the top view of the diameter is going to be making 30 degrees with hp and the diameter will be makes an angle of 30 degrees to hp that means so first stage simple position let us see first stage simple position and you can uh, meanwhile you will be understand okay what is the simple stage position what is the first stage of the simple position all of you see x y what was the simple position what was the simple position so here point is on hp and surface inclined 45 degrees to hp that means your plane surface is your plane surface is consisting on hp top view is a true shape okay so top view is a true shape okay top view is a true shape of a circle so for my convenience i just divide this into some eight number of equal divisions this is only for my convenience okay so let us consider the one of the point is going to be resting is going to be considered as a okay so this becomes a1 b1 c1 d1 a1 f1 g1 h1 okay so this was the stage 1 first step okay so what was the given diameter what was the given diameter diameter 50 okay so when you are supposed to see the top view you are going to see the true shape when you are going to see the front view the front view should be obtained on x y because your plane surface is consisting on hp so when you are seeing from front the view should be obtained on x y okay now draw the vertical projectors from all the points Okay. Now let us join all the points and tell me the visible points. What are the visible points? Bottom semi-circle are going to be complete visible. Top semi-circle is going to be invisible. So A, B, C, D is visible. E, F, G, H are invisible. Okay, we know that. So this becomes A one dash, B one dash now. H1 dash, C1 dash, or G1 dash, D1 dash, or F1 dash, and E1 dash. Okay. So E, E, C, D are visible. H, G, F are invisible. So I just put in bracket. So B of H, C of G, D of F. Okay. So this was step two. This was step two. So simple position is over. What was the 
second stage always you can say the edging always you can say the surface inclination what was the surface inclination he just gives surface incline 45 degrees to hp so that means hp inclination always comes so this is theta always comes above x y so draw a line of 45 degrees draw a line of 45 degrees okay so this was stage 2 and this was step 3 why because beside the steps 2 you are going to obtain step 3 so what you have to do reconstruct the obtain the front view on this 45 degrees line by placing your a point is going to be on the x y y because a point is on resting a point is on h p well so when you are seeing from the front that point comes on x y so this becomes your a2 dash this becomes b2 dash of h2 dash next c2 dash of g2 dash next d2 dash of f2 dash and e2 dash so that means i just draw a line of 45 degrees and i just reconstruct my obtained front view on this 45 degrees line okay now how can i obtain my second top view how can i obtain my second top view simply draw the vertical projectors from the obtained front view okay so draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view now mark the intersection points mark the intersection points so this becomes a2 b2 c2 d2 e2 f2 g2 h2 okay now if i draw all the points now if i draw all the points i am supposed to obtain an ellipse i am supposed to obtain an ellipse so that was going to be the reduced size so always your simple position is going to be comes your true shape and going on for the next stages always you are going to obtain the reduced size so here it is circle the reduced size is going to be obtained as a ellipse so second stage is completed so after the surface inclination we have to go for edge inclination what is the condition first condition is let us see the first condition so top view of the diameter ab is making an angle of 30 degrees with the vp okay so top view of the diameter is going to be making 30 degrees with the vp so top view of the diameter is making means so that means what was the top view we already have so this was the top view so when the surface is inclined 45 degrees we obtain the top view so the first condition is top view of the diameter ab makes an angle of top view of the diameter ab makes an angle of 30 degrees with the hp so first of all so this is going to be makes an angle of okay students all of you just see here i did one mistake anyone can find out anyone can tell me what was the mistake he asked the top view of the diameter the diameter ab like that i just make a mistake what was that mistake anyone student can anyone can get a message put a message what was the mis mistake i did
top you can't make on vp that's not the thing next one even we consider diameter ab yes we have to consider diameter ab but what was the mistake there what was the mistake there we have to consider diameter ab but in the construction what we did ye e yes exactly ye e has diameter we considered all of you just see here so in the problem he just gives diameter ab that means when we consider in this point we have to consider a e is going to be not consider it should be considered as a b a b okay but i consider in general i consider a one of the point is going to be not consider that remaining i just do it as my own but we have to consider diameter is a b so a and e are going to be not my diameter that should be the wrong so he gives diameter a b we have to consider it as a b only but i consider a e so what i going to do is i just change my problem in my problem i just consider the diameter is going to be ae so actually you just go for ab now i just consider here ae why because if not i just have to arrange all these things i just consider my diameter ae so now this becomes my diameter ae okay so the top view of the diameter ae makes 30 degrees to vp means the top view which we obtain is here so i just draw a line of 30 degrees i just draw a line of 30 degrees and in such a way that the diameter ee is going to be on this 30 degrees line the diameter ee is on this 30 degrees line so that means i just place my so a and this is e okay so so that means i just constructed in this manner such that e is to be at here okay and you can see this ae and gc are perpendicular to each other ae projector and gc projector are perpendicular to each other so if i draw the perpendicular projector which is going to be passing through the center okay which is going to be passing through the center then i can say that this is going to be the so this gc is going to be obtained here so it becomes g okay this becomes a and e comes to here like this okay so this becomes my g and this becomes my c okay so can we get the remaining points in between a g i am going to get h so a as center a h as radius drawn g as radius g h as radius at the arc point point h similarly in between a and c you will get b a as center a b as radius drawn c as center c b as radius at the arc point the point b similarly in between c and e you will get d point C D as radius drawn, D D as radius cut the arc at point D. Okay. Similarly, E as center drawn, G as center cut the arc at point F. Okay. Now join all the points. okay so this points becomes your f okay so this was your stage 3 and step 5
So that means I did nothing. I just do reconstruct my obtained with of you on this 30 degrees line such that A e is on this 30 degrees line. Okay. Now, how can I obtain my center view? So that means simply draw the vertical projectors from obtained top view. Okay, and dropping horizontals from the previous front of you. Now let us see what we can update. Mark the intersection points now. Mark the intersection points. A dash, C dash, H dash, A dash, B dash, C dash, H dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So while you are going to join all these, you will get your curve like this. Okay. Okay, so that means you will get an ellipse like this on the front view. Okay. So that means one of the point which is going to be resting on the ground is this A dash that is going to be touching the ground. So this becomes your sixth step. Next, so this problem is going to be having eight steps. Why? Because we just use two conditions. The diameter AE also makes an angle of diameter AE also makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP. So when the diameter AE is given, now we have to find the apparent angle. So, how can we find the apparent angle, sir? So, on the apparent angle, we are supposed to, we are supposed to construct the, construct the top view. Okay. So, first let us see. First of all, 
draw a line of 30 degrees. Draw a line of 30 degrees. All of you just see here. So, first of all, this is 30 degrees with VP. I just draw a line of 30 degrees. Next, take EP as diameter, that is AE. Here, I just answer AE. So, AE is the diameter of 50. Okay, take E as diameter. Okay, so let us take a point. Any point is going to be considered as some A dash or A what it should be. Okay, A as center 50 as radius, draw an R to obtain some B. Let us consider for your reference, let us consider some B3. Let us consider B3. Now you just draw a line passing through this B3 that becomes locus of B. How do you see here? So when the diameter A is given means the top view is not to be constructed. The diameter A is given. So when it is a diameter problem, we have to find the apparent angle. How can we find the apparent angle means? Let us take any point on the X, right? So draw a line of 30 degrees. Take A, original diameter of 50. Okay. So here I just consider not B. So I just consider it is E. Why? Because here I just change my problem as A, E. For here, okay. So A is 50. So A as center 50 as it is draw R. And draw the locus of draw the locus of E. Next, take the diameter of E to E2, which is going to be reduced. So that take the diameter of E to E2 and A as center draw an R from the locus of E. Okay. So this becomes some E2 now. Let us consider some E. Now join. A with E, so inclination with the horizontal is going to be considered as beta. Inclination with horizontal is considered as beta. Students, is it clear now? Students, is it clear? So, until now, we just do the, all of you just see here. So, up to here, the problem is regular problem, regular problem which we see. One is surface inclination, next one is diameter inclination. The top view of the diameter A makes 30 degrees. So, only difference is this point. What is this point? Is this is the diameter problem. Whenever the diameter A makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP, we have to find the apparent angle. How can we find the apparent angle? Means this was the condition. Let us take a line and draw the given inclination. We are not supposed to put on 30 degrees. We have to find the apparent angle. 30 degrees. Okay. And take original diameter E as radius, that is 50, E as center, draw an arc. That is, you will obtain E3. Draw a line passing through E3 parallel to XY, that becomes locus of E. Now take E2, E2 as radius. This was a reduced diameter as radius. Again, same center and draw an arc on the locus. Mark it as some E2, E2. Now consider the Inclination between horizontal to this uh, E2, that inclination is beta. Measure it. Measure this beta. Now, what you have to do is simply draw a line of beta. Now, draw a line of beta. Draw a line of beta which we find. That is apparent angle. Okay. So, we have to find for this. We had to find apparent angle apparent angle beta. Okay. So let us see how can we find the apparent angle beta? How about the first step? Apparent angle beta. How can we obtain? So take any point on XY. Okay, as A and A as diameter, A diameter 50 as radius, draw an arc on 30 degrees line. Okay, so then we obtain, then we obtain some E3. Okay. Next one. Draw 
line passing through passing through e3 to obtain locus of to obtain locus of e okay next take e2 e2 as radius draw an arc on locus of e to obtain e2 okay now angle between e and e2 with xy is beta okay next i am supposed to reconstruct the reconstruct the copy that is step for reconstruct next write the point reconstruct step 4 okay on on stage 4 stage 4 this is step 7 7 and 8 okay so here you are going to open 7 and 8 okay so again i just consider this is my a and this is my b and if i draw the perpendicular okay so this becomes g and this becomes c once i join the points i will obtain h b b f okay so once i obtain these and i again go for the vertical projectors upwards okay and draw the horizontals so which is going to be just extended from here and again mark the intersection points a dash let us mark the intersection points here it is b here it is b next c dash next d dash speaking dash f dash g dash and h dash and join all the points okay so this becomes your step number 8 okay friends is it clear now is it clear so in the stage 4 i didn't do anything complicated i just to find out my apparent angle beta and i just to draw a line of beta and i just reconstruct what i did here i just to reconstruct here on 30 degrees but here i didn't concept on 30 degrees 
I just find out beta, and I just reconstruct it on beta, and I obtain copy as like this. Okay, so this was the, the kind of problem which we consider the diameter is given. The diameter is making inclination means whenever you heard that, you just had to find the apparent angle beta. Okay. All of you just copy, I just give you two minutes. Why some of the people had uh, uh, left in the session? Some of the people had left the session. What happened, students? Some of the people had left. Okay, shall I erase this? Shall I erase this? So this was a problem which is available in your textbook also. Andy by textbook. Is it okay now? Is my screen is visible now? Can I erase this? Can I erase it? Why you put your thumbs down? Any doubt? Students, any doubt? Some of the people have put their thumbs down. Do you have any doubt in this? Screen not visible. So it is visible here. Yeah. So for all the students it is visible, only for 3 or 4 members it is not visible, why? Students, is my screen visible or not? Is my screen is visible for you? So majority have given their thumbs up. But what should I do? Diameter A is 50. Top of the diameter A, 30 means 30 degrees. That is not 30 degrees with VP. 30 degrees with VP. Diameter given as circle diameter is 50. Then A is going to be 50. Okay, can I erase it now? Can I erase it? This problem you can also see in, see in uh, 
This problem also seen in the textbook also, which uses a good example. In any even textbook also. You just refer it. Okay, right, and then which is as similar as like this, this was the diagonal problem. So the previous problem, we just see the diameter problem. So let us see how it should be in a diagonal problem. So when you are going to get a diagonal in a hexagon, you will get a diagonal. Okay, let us see. A regular hexagon, how to write the problem? A regular hexagon of side 30. Hexagon of side 30 mm. Has a corner in HP. Has a corner in HP. The surface is inclined forty five degrees to the HP. Surface inclined forty five degrees to HP and And top view of the diagonal, top view of the diagonal as to the corner. Passing through that corner. Makes an angle of makes an angle of sixty degrees with VP. Sixty degrees with VP. Another bit is the corner the diagonal. The diagonal passing the diagonal through the corner, the diagonal through the corner Now tell me. So this was the this was the first bit. And this was the so he just gives the total combined problem. In the previous problem, he just gives the two bits, but here it is going to be a combined problem. Okay. Students, how do you understand the problem? Is my problem visible for you? A regular hexagon of side 30 mm has a corner in HP. Corner is in HP and the surface is inclined 45 degrees to the HP. Top view of the diagonal.
Why are you putting your thumbs down? Okay. So many people have uh, left the session. It's not, uh, it's not fair. So let us see. So in, as like this, here the surface is going to be inclined. Why? Because means one of the corners is in HP. Let us consider one of the corner is going to be on HP. Let us see. Corner is on HP, and making the surface inclination is. Surface inclination is 45 degrees to HP like this. Okay, so this was the simple position. So how can you put the simple position? Let us put your plane consisting on HP. Why? Because let us assume your plane is parallel to the reference plane to which it is making surface inclination. So but one of the corner is on HP. So you have to put your plane on HP. Then only you will get this like this. Okay. So we should use the true shape. How to use the true shape? So like means like this corner is going to be on HP. So top is going to be all of you okay. Have you seen this? Now you are going to be seen like this. Okay. It is a it is a corner resting ball. Okay. Stage one is nothing but your simple position. Simple version. Let us put your plane into HP. We use the true shape. Okay, in top view. So what are the? Let us consider the corner is going to be on HP and the diagonal. He doesn't give any number. Let us let us let us as A as the corner. A is the diagonal like this, so I just take any of it. So let us consider A one, B one, C one, D one, E one, and F one. So this was step one. So given the side is, given side is thirty. This was stage one. Okay, and how can we apply? It should be applied on X Y. Why? Because plane is on H P. So draw the vertical projectors. Okay. Now you will get all the points on X Y. Let us see the what are the visible points. A B C D are visible. So this becomes A one dash, B one dash of F one dash. Next it is C one dash of E one dash. And it is D one dash. This is step two. Next, what we do in stage two always consists surface inclination. What was the surface inclination? Forty five degrees to HP. Now simply draw a line of forty five degrees. And reconstruct the obtained angle on this forty five degrees. Such that one of the corner is in HP. So the corner is going to be I can say E. So this is A two dash, and this is B two dash of F two dash, C two dash of E two dash, and it is D two dash. Okay. Now draw the vertical projectors from here to obtain the top view, and draw the horizontal projectors from the Previous top view and mark the intersection points. Okay, now mark the intersection points. So this becomes A two, B two, C two, D two, E two, F two. Okay, so this was stage two. This was two. Beside it, you will get three, and this becomes your step four. Join all the points.
okay so this was the stage 1 stage 2 simple position surface inclination next diagonal or diameter so here we give the first consideration is first step is top view of the diagonal passing through the corner so top view of the diagonal passing through the corner is ad this ad diagonal is makes an angle of 60 degrees with hp so simply you just draw a line of 60 degrees draw a line of 60 degrees and reconstruct the figure in such a way that ad is going to be on the ad is on the 60 degrees line so this becomes my a and this becomes my b okay ad so this becomes my and we can simply figure a f as radius drawn and d f uh, sorry d f as radius cut it you will get your point f similarly so e you will obtain point e similarly you will obtain point b point c now join all the points okay why we call this we if we have the two points then we can obtain the remaining points okay so that means our ad is going to be on this 60 degrees line like this i just reconstruct we can check my figure in this manner that is at here this is to be converted to here okay so first i place my a and b point on the 60 degrees line so once we have the two points yeah we can available we can have the remaining all the points by taking these two as radius we will get the r and again these two as radius the r you will get the f point so from this you will obtain all the points okay so this was stage 3 and this was step 5 Once you obtain your top view, so draw the vertical projectors. And draw the horizontals from the previous one, previous front view. So this was the previous front view. Okay. Now mark the intersection points now. Mark the intersection points. Your A point is going to be on x y a dash. This is B B dash C C dash D D dash E E dash next F. Fresh. Now join all the points. B, C, B, C, D. Okay. So this becomes your step six. Okay, students, is it clear up to now? Is it clear up to now? Next, next again, it is the diagonal problem. In previous, I have like diameter is given. Here, the diagonal is also given. Now we are supposed to find the apparent angle. How can we find the apparent angle? All of you see, first of all, you just draw. You just draw a line of given inclination first. What is the given inclination? Forty-five degrees. So draw a line of forty-five degrees. Let us consider this point A some A. So let us take the original diagonal that is A one B one as radius. Let us take A one B one as radius. A as center. Draw an arc or point D one. Let us consider. So draw a line passing through D one. Draw a line of forty-five degrees. Take A as center. A one D one as radius. Draw an arc or point D one. Draw a line passing through D one parallel to X Y. Okay. Next, take the reduced diameter that is A two B two. Take A two B two as diameter. A as center. 
done and this becomes d2 now join a with d2 so inclination with horizontal this becomes your beta okay now draw a line of beta draw a line of beta okay and again reconstruct the figure on this beta how can you reconstruct the figure on beta let us take my point a and again d on this beta okay and here it is e f e b c so join a b b c c d e f okay now draw the so this was stage 4 and this is step 7 okay draw the vertical projectors from here okay and draw the horizontals by extending the previous projectors okay and mark the intersection points again okay you will uh, get the points so this is your a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash now join the points a b b c c d okay again you will get a hexagon like this actually your hexagon should be like this you are going to be obtain in this pattern okay so this was your step 8 Okay, students, is it clear now? So let us this.
Let us write another problem. A semicircular plate of 80 mm diameter. Semicircular plate of diameter 80. As it's a straight edge on VP. As it's straight edge on VP. And inclined at 30 degrees to HP. And inclined thirty degrees to HP. While the surface of the plate is inclined forty five degrees to the VP. While the surface of the plate is making 45 degrees to the VP. Draw the projections of the plate. Draw the projections of the plate. Students, have you understand the problem? Given a semicircular plate of diameter 80 as it's a straight edge on VP. So let us consider, let us consider this was the semicircular plate. Semicircular plate as it's straight edge on VP. If it is VP, so straight edge is going to be on VP. When your edge is on VP, its surface had to make Inclination with VP. So, first of all, what we have to consider surface inclination only. So, when your edge is on VP, your plane is to be made inclination with VP only. But for you make you confuse, he just do an incline 30 degrees to HP. So, what the 30 degrees to HP, the edge which is resting on VP, is making an angle of 30 degrees to 30 degrees to HP. But always we have to consider surface inclination first. That means First of all, it is making 30 degrees, 45 degrees to the VP and then it is inclined and then it is inclined for and then it is inclined for 30 degrees to HP like this. First of all, edge is on VP, 30, 45 degrees to VP and the edge which is resting on VP makes 30 degrees to HP like this. Okay, so how can I put this rather simple position now? So let us assume your plane is going to be consisting on VP. Why because why should it should not be parallel to VP? One of the edges on VP. So let us consider your plane is consisting of VP. So which will use a true shape? When your plane is going to be on VP, then we use a true shape. Okay, so this was stage one and step one. So divide your semicircle for my convenience into some four number of equal regions. Okay. So let us take consider my points as some a dash, a1 dash, b1 dash, c1 dash, d1 dash, and e1 dash. Okay, so while you are supposed to see the top view, where it is to be projected, when your plane is consisting on VP, top view comes on xy. Okay, so draw the vertical projectors up to xy, and if you join these three. That becomes your top view. What are the top view points? This. What are visible? A, B, C are visible. D, E are invisible. So this becomes 
ए वन ऑफ ई वन डी वन ऑफ डी वन एंड इट इज सी वन सो दिस इज स्टेप टू एंड इट इज स्टेज वन ओके सो वॉट वॉज द डायमीटर दट ही गिवस डायमीटर इज एटीन Okay. So after the first stage is completed, we go for the stage two. In stage two, what we have to consider surface inclination. What is the surface inclination? Surface of the plate is making forty-five degrees to VT. So draw a line now. Forty-five degrees. Okay, and this point is to be reconstructed here. So this becomes A two of E two, B two of D two, and it is C two. Okay, so this is step three and stage two. Okay, and now draw the draw the vertical projectiles from here. And draw the horizontals from here. Okay. And mark the intersection points. This becomes A two dash, C two dash, B two dash, C two dash. And D to this. Now join all the points. Okay. So this was step four. Now he just gives the edge inclination that is stage three, thirty degrees to HP. So draw a line of thirty degrees and reconstruct the figure on this thirty degrees line. Reconstruct the figure on this thirty degrees line such that let us see. So this becomes E dash. And this becomes a dash, and I know that E and this C is going to be. It is going to be from center. It is perpendicular. Okay, so from center, I just draw a perpendicular projector, and I take this as center. Or you can take directly E to C as radius, E C as radius. Draw it. You will get the point. This is becomes your C dash. Okay, now in between points is. So this becomes your B dash. This becomes your B dash. Now join them. Okay. So this becomes your step five, stage three. So from here, draw the vertical projectiles. From here, draw the horizontals. Now mark the intersection points. A point is to be at here. This becomes your A. B point is to be at here. This becomes your B. E. This becomes your D. It's going to be. Now join all the points. Okay, so that becomes your top view. So this is your final front view. 
and this is final top view. Okay, students, is it clear? Can I erase this? Can I erase this? It is like another problem. Draw the projections of a rhombus. Draw the projections of a rhombus. One twenty by sixty. Draw the projections of the rhombus having the diagonals. 120 by 60. Okay. The smaller diagonal, the smaller diagonal is parallel to both of planes the smaller diagonal is smaller diagonal is parallel to both the planes Parallel to both the planes. Next, while the other is inclined, thirty degrees to HP. Okay. Do you understand the students? Do you understand this? So, given the other projections of a rhombus of dimensions that is diagonals 120 by 60 such that the smaller diagonal is going to be 
parallel to both the planes. So here the position is going to be here the position is going to be perpendicular to one reference plane, right? while the other is inclined to the 30 degrees to HP. That means larger diameter is inclined 30 degrees to HP. So this is nothing but your surface is inclined 30 degrees to HP. Let us consider. Let us consider this was. Surface inclination. So when it is going to be considered as the surface inclination, so how can we obtain your simple position? Your simple position in such a way that top you gives the top you gives the true shape. Okay. So I just consider this is one twenty and this is sixty. Okay, let us consider A1, C1, C1, D1. Okay, so when you are supposed to see the front view, what it is going to be obtained? Where it is to be obtained? On Expert. Which points are visible? A one dash, B one dash of B one dash, and C one dash. So given we already know that while the other is inclined thirty degrees to HP means so this means while the other is nothing but larger than okay. So other is nothing but small diagonal is going to travel to both the planes. That is the stage three. So in stage two, we always consider the surface inclination that is larger diagonal is 30 degrees to HP. So this was the larger diagonal. So draw a line of 30 degrees. Okay, this was 30 degrees, step three, and reconstruct the front to be on this. So this becomes let us consider a two dash. B2 dash of B2 dash, and this becomes C2. Okay, from here draw the vertical projectors, from here draw the horizontals. Now mark intersection points, so this becomes A2, B2, C2. Okay, so this was the step four and stage three. Okay, so initial we just had to represent the dimensions also. We just do this representation of dimensions. So which is one twenty, one twenty. and sixty. Okay, so after. Uh, Stage two, how can we obtain stage three? That means smaller diagonal is parallel to both the reference planes. So how can you say a smaller diagonal is parallel to both the planes? So here, if you see this, this is perpendicular to VP. So when it is possible, when it is possible, parallel to both the reference planes. That means when your line is like this, if you put your line like this, it should parallel to VP, parallel to HP. Okay. Similarly, if you place your diagonal makes parallel to XY. So this means BD is parallel to XY. Then we, I can say that diagonal is parallel to both the reference planes. Let us assume BD is parallel to XY. So that means if you, here if I put my line like this means parallel to both the reference planes. That means line is parallel to XY. So if I reconstruct the figure in such a way that reconstruct the figure in such a way that BD should be BD should be horizontal and AC should be vertical. BD should be horizontal this was B this was D and AC should become vertical now join the points
So how can I do that means? First of all, I just put a draw a line parallel to x y, and I just put take my radius of b d, and I take any of the point as b, b d as radius draw a line of b d. Now I know that a c and b d are perpendicular to each other, passing through the point, and that the point I just draw a vertical line, and I just say mark my point anywhere from center as a and c. Okay, so this was stage three. From here, draw the vertical projectors. From here, draw the horizontals. Okay. Now mark the intersection points. So this becomes your a dash, b dash, c dash. Now all the points join. Okay, so this becomes your step six. Okay, students, is it clear? Friends, can I erase it? Can I erase it? Can I erase this, students? Can I erase this? No problem. We will forward the link. Okay. So this session is going to be recording. We will forward the link, and you can once again uh, verify in that link. We are almost having diagonals. So the problem which we already done in previous class. Let us see rhombus one twenty by sixty. At the corner in HP. At the corner in HP, and plane is inclined to HP, and plane is inclined to HP. In such a way that, in such a way that. The top view appears perfect square of 60 mm. 
Top view appears, perfect square of 60. Or uh, top view appears, the square. Okay. The diagonal passing through the point A makes an angle of the diagonal passing through the diagonal passing through point A makes thirty degrees to BP. Draw the projections. Draw the projections. Okay, friends. So this problem is going to be as similar as going to be the previous previous principle rectangle problem. Okay. So the top view of the rectangle appears as a perfect square. So what we did, okay, the front view is going to be just treated for making HP inclination. Okay. Uh, then only I am supposed to see the top view is going to be a perfect square. Similarly, here also I am doing the same concept. Let us see. Formal is on HP and plane is inclined to HP. So that means let us assume your plane is consisting on HP. Okay, so top view gives the true shape. Okay, let us see. Rhombus. Corner in HP, plane is inclined to HP. So plane is inclined to HP means top view gives a true shape. Okay, so what was the simple position? Rhombus diagonals of 120 by 60. Okay, A1, B1, C1, C1. Let us see the given instructions, given measurements of this is 120. This is 60. So this was step one and stage one. Okay, so how can we obtain your uh, front view now? So simply if you will see in this manner, you will obtain the front view. So draw the vertical projectors from the top view, meet on XY. Why? Because plane is consisting on HP, front view comes on XY. Okay. So joining the we will get the line. Okay, so this becomes A1 dash, this becomes B1 dash of B1 dash C1 dash. So this is step two. Next, plane always stage 2 is going to be surface inclination. So, how can we make the surface inclination without giving the surface inclination? But the top view appears as a perfect square. So, what was the perfect square? It is going to be of 60. I just mentioned it is 60, but in the problem, he doesn't give. He just mentioned it is a perfect square. How can we obtain the perfect square? Whenever it is lifted for some inclination, if you see from the top, So whenever the front view is going to be lifted for some angle theta, but I don't know the angle theta, I have to find it. But when I am supposed to lift this, for example, let us consider, here it is going to be the plane. If it is going to be make some inclination theta, if I see the top view, it should be appear as a square. Okay? I know the square of 60. I know it is going to be the square of 60. So for that, first of all, I just construct my square. So actually, stage three, step three is going to become beside here, but I don't know theta. So I just go for stage step three at here. This was stage two. Okay, and I know my these points are going to be D two, B two. So 
so this becomes my perfect square so this is a2 c2 okay so this is also you have to measure this as perfect square of 60 why because this is 60 and this is 60 then you should be a square so this is all 60 this is 60 the vertical is 60 horizontal also 60 now i can say it is a perfect square now let us see the okay now a is going to be center a c dash a dash as center a dash c dash as radius let us take this point as a2 dash and draw an arc out here to obtain our c2 dash now join these two okay and this is going to be making an angle of theta so if you draw the vertical projector so this becomes your b2 dash of d2 dash okay so this becomes your 4 okay why because 1 2 actually it should come here third step but i don't know theta so i just go for the third step here which is known as perfect square so from third i obtain my fourth step okay next the diagonal passing through point a makes an angle of this is a diagonal problem once it is a diagonal making passing through the point a makes 30 degrees to vp means we have to find the apparent angle so how can we find the apparent angle theta apparent angle beta simply you just draw a line of xy from xy you just draw a line of 30 degrees first draw a line of 30 degrees and mark my point as some a here first of all this is a now take the diagonal passing through the point a so ac is going to be your ac is going to be your Okay, students. AC is going to be the radius A center. Draw an arc. So this becomes your C1. Now draw a line passing through C1. That becomes locus of C. Now take A as center. Reduce the diagonal AC. AC is going to be your radius. Okay. So draw an arc. That will somewhere comes at here. So this becomes your beta. Okay, now draw a line of beta. And reconstruct the figure such that AC diagonal is on this beta. So this becomes your A. This becomes C. And draw the lines which are perpendicular to here. Why? Because these two are perpendicular to these two are perpendicular to each other i just draw the perpendicular from here okay now mark the points this is b this is d okay now draw the vertical projectors from the this was your the step this was stage three so draw the vertical projectors from here and draw the horizontals and mark the intersection points this becomes c this becomes d this becomes A and this becomes D. Now join the points A, B, C, B, C, D. And this becomes your step 6. Okay, students, is it clear now?
students if, if in the same problem if in the same problem he just gives another bit top view of diagonal makes 30 degrees to vp then what i have to do top view of the diagonal makes an angle of 30 degrees then If top view of the diagonal makes 30 degrees means that what we have to do? Top view of the diagonal that is AC, top view of the diagonal passing through, passing through point A. So that means AC is making 30 degrees. Then simply you just draw a line of 30 degrees. Simply just draw a line of 30 degrees and reconstruct AC on this 30 degrees. This becomes A and this becomes C and this becomes D and this becomes B. So this was stage 4 and step 6, sorry step 7. So that means when Top view of the diagonal makes 30 degrees to VP. The diagonal passing through it. Top view of the diagonal passing through A makes 30 degrees to VP. So now you simply draw vertical projectors from here and horizontals from here. Then you will get the points. So this is your C, C dash. Okay. And this is your D dash. A dash, B dash, so this is step 8, ok students is it clear, so when your top view of the diagonal passing through means, so directly the top view that is step 3 is going to be tilted for 30 degrees, whenever the diagonal is passing means you have to find the apparent angle beta. Can I erase this? Is it clear? So let us write another problem. A composite plate, a composite plate of negligible thickness, composite plate of negligible thickness is made up of rectangle 60 by 40, rectangle 60 by 40, composite plate. That means two surfaces are going to be get connected each other, joined each other, okay? And a semicircle on its larger side, semicircle on the longer side. This was the longer side, so this was the semicircle, okay? So this was rectangle plus semicircle. 
so it is considered as composite plate we call it as composite plate so joined with more than one okay then we can consider as composite plate rectangle plus semicircle semicircle on its longer side draw its projections when the longer side is parallel to hp draw its projections when its longer side is parallel to hp longer side is parallel to hp and inclined 45 degrees to vp and inclined 45 degrees to vp the surface of the plate makes 30 degrees with hp surface of plate makes 30 degrees to hp draw its projections draw its projections students have you understand the problem so given the plate which is same as composite plate so that means a rectangle and a semicircle join together so consider a rectangle of 60 by 40 and the semicircle is going to be joined on the longer side that is at 60 side okay so the right projection when its longer side is parallel to hp okay and inclined 45 degrees to vp surface of the plates make 30 degrees to hp always we have to consider surface inclination only for simple position so surface parallel to hp means so let us assume your top view is going to be obtained as the true shape top view is going to be the true shape why because surface is makes 30 degrees to hp while surface inclination with hp means top view gives the true shape let us assume a surface parallel to parallel to hp okay so for that only i just consider first to my rectangle of given dimension okay so this was a1 b1 c1 d1 and divide my circle for my reference semi circle for my reference as so e1 f1 and g1 okay so from here i know the dimensions given dimensions are it is given 40 it is 60 it is step 1 stage 1 okay so while you are going to see the front view it is going to be obtained on xy okay on xy it should be look like here so that becomes na degree ki the gaya wo corona lo are yenni odile gaani corona lo jagat chesko ya wo itlo vanni kondu pettaku 